Well, 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 the countdown for the 14th edition of the IPL to resume from where it left off has started. On one hand, of course, everybody knows which team they're supporting, but this time around, there could be a small hiccup for many franchises as many of their overseas players are set to be missing out in the second leg of the IPL. Hi, everybody, welcome to this new video on Crick Tracker. My name is Nivedna Prabhu. Now, looking at, of course, the second leg of the IPL to be played in the UAE, there are a couple of players who will be missing out on the opportunity to contribute to their franchises. Now, what is that looking like? Who are these players in terms of who could be the potential replacements as well as the schedule of all these franchises to clash in the UAE? We're going to tell you all of that and much more in this video. But before I begin, if you haven't liked, shared and subscribed to Crick Tracker as yet, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be doing it. So hit that button quickly and without wasting any more time, let's begin this new video. We are just a few weeks away from the 14th edition of the IPL to resume in UAE. With all the franchises set to continue from where they left in May, the excitement for the teams to clash once again has begun. One of the main concerns for BCCI was to ensure foreign players' availability when they decided to shift the venue to UAE for the second leg. But in the past few weeks, from New Zealand cricket to ECB to Cricket Australia, they have all confirmed the participation of their players for the second leg of the IPL, which of course is great news. However, owing to injury concerns, personal reasons, many overseas players will be missing out on the extravaganza. So that brings us to the question of who is in and who is missing out? Rajasthan Royals Rajasthan will have not one but three star overseas players opting out from IPL's second leg. Joss Butler will not be part of the UAE leg of IPL owing to his wife, who is going to deliver their second baby around September-October. The team management has decided to rope in New Zealand's Glenn Phillips to replace Butler for the remainder of IPL 2021. While Butler is opting out to spend time with his family, another big blow for Rajasthan will be Ben Stokes missing out. Stokes took a decision to opt out of the IPL owing to an indefinite break from cricket to focus on his mental well-being. Ben's potential replacements Colin De Granholm, DRK Short, David Willey. On the other hand, stress factor of his right elbow will also keep Jofra Archer away from the IPL. Archer's potential replacements Dwayne Pretorius, Sheldon Cottrell, Shane Thomas. The team has also signed South African leg spinner and world number one T20I bowler Tabre Shamsi for the remainder of the IPL as replacement for Australian pacer Andrew Tai. Royal Challengers Bangalore A big setback for the Bangalore squad as Daniel Sams, Finn Allen, Adam Zampa and Kane Richardson are set to miss out on the Indian T20 league. However, the team has roped in Vanindu Hasranga in place of Adam Zampa. Dushmanta Chamira replaces Kane Richardson. Tim David replaces Finn Allen. England all-rounder George Garton will join the IRCB family for the rest of IPL 2021 to complete the overseas players' quota for the season. A major concern for RCB will be an injured Washington Sundar. The RCB management will have to rope in someone solid in Sundar's place, especially considering he adds value while bowling in the power play and with the bat. Sundar's potential replacements. Naveen Hulhak, Sandeep Lamichain, Ankit Rajput. On the other hand, head coach Simon Kutich has stepped down from his post due to personal reasons. And director of cricket Mike Hessen will now double up as team's chief coach as well. Kolkata Knight Riders During a live Q&A session on his official YouTube channel, Pat Cummins stated that he will not be travelling to the UAE because his wife is pregnant. Pat Cummins will now be replaced by Tim Saudi who will now play for the remaining 31 games of the Indian Premier League. Delhi Capitals Delhi's Avesh Khan might miss out on the Indian T20 League due to a left thumb fracture he sustained on the opening day of the match in Durham. Avesh's potential replacement Rishi Dhawan, Jacob Duffy, Matt Henry, Mitchell McLigan. Punjab Kings will miss Riley Meredith and Jay Richardson during the second phase of the IPL. Punjab Kings have named Australia pacer Nathan Ellis as a replacement player for the remainder of the Indian T20 League. Meanwhile, Adil Rashid will replace fast bowler Jay Richardson for the Punjab team. The good news for Chennai Super Kings, Sunrisers Hyderabad and Mumbai Indians is that on one hand, all the players are available and there are no injury concerns, at least for now. Chennai Super Kings schedule leg 2. The first match for Chennai will be on 19 September against Mumbai in Dubai. While match number 53 
will be played between Chennai and Punjab Kings on 7th of October again in Dubai. Sunrisers Hyderabad schedule leg 2. In the UAE leg, SRH will take on Delhi Capitals in the first match on 22nd September in Dubai. Well they will take on Mumbai Indians on 8th October in match number 55 in Abu Dhabi. Royal Challengers Bangalore schedule leg 2. Match number 31 on 20th September will see the battle between Royal Challengers Bangalore and KKR in Abu Dhabi while match number 56 will be Royal Challengers Bangalore versus Delhi Capitals in Dubai on 8th of October. Rajasthan Royal schedule leg 2. Match number 32 will be played between Punjab and Rajasthan in Dubai on 21st of September. While looking at the schedule match number 54 on 7th of October when Rajasthan will take on Kolkata Knight Riders in Sharjah Mumbai Indian schedule leg 2 well in leg 2 match number 30 will see the clash between Chennai and Mumbai on 19th of September in Dubai while they will take on Hyderabad on 8th of October in match number 53 in Abu Dhabi Punjab Kings schedule leg 2 match number 32 on 21st September will kick off the UAE leg for Punjab as they take on Rajasthan in Dubai whereas match number 53 on 7th of October will see them battle it out with Chennai in Dubai Kolkata Knight Riders schedule leg 2 match number 31 will be the date where KKR will take on RCB on 20th of September in Abu Dhabi while match number 54 will see the clash between Kolkata Knight Riders versus Rajasthan Royals in Sharjah on 7th of October Delhi Capitals schedule leg 2 in match number 33 on 22nd September Delhi Capitals will take on Sunrisers Hyderabad in Dubai and in match number 56 on 8th of October Delhi will take on Royal Challengers Bangalore once again in Dubai. Well the battleground is set for IPL round 2 but you tell me in the comment section below which team will have the biggest setback and what do you think are the potential replacements for these players? Tell me all of that in the comment section below but most importantly do not forget to follow all our social media channels so that you are updated about everything happening in the exciting world of cricket including our Telegram channel because waha pe we have some amazing fantasy tips for your fantasy See teams and of course some match winning combinations so you wouldn't want to miss out. Mera naam hai Nivedna Prabhu main jaldi aane wali hu with a new video so that we can discuss everything happening in the world of cricket but until I see you next time like I always say take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye bye.